Hello, it's time for another review of a ukulele from Got a Ukulele, uh, a brand that I've not seen before, although I'd heard about, but not seen in the UK, but are now starting to be sold over here. Um, just a word about my reviews. I, I do say this on my website, but I try my absolute damnedest to ensure that <clears throat> all reviews on Got a Ukulele are completely impartial. Um, for people who think that I get to keep the instruments that I'm sent to review, I do not. This one will be going back like all, the, all of the others do. I don't re uh, review for one particular maker or one particular shop. I take reviews from makers, from distributors, from stores, uh, from all sorts of places really, but I also intersperse those with ukes that I buy myself in order to give the best spread that I can. Um, it's interesting because I know there are some manufacturers out there who don't seem to be particularly keen on getting ukuleles reviewed on Got a Uke. Uh, and that's because I always uh, set out some ground rules, which is that I have final say on the copy and what I say about the instrument. Um, I don't take any advice or um, accept any criticism as to, as to what's written. I write my opinions. And thankfully there are some good people out there, uh, distributors such as Stones Music, who've sent me a couple of instruments over the years to, to have a look at, uh, including this one. Uh, Mark Pure Stones understands that what I write is fair, I believe, uh, otherwise he wouldn't have sent me another instrument to review, I suspect. Uh, that's not to say I've always been positive about what he sent me. Um, but let's take a look at this one. As I say, it's a new brand for me. This is a Baton Rouge uh, instrument. It's a concert scale, and it's the V2C uh, Sun series. Uh, V2 is the series, I believe. The C stands for concert, and the Sun, guess what? We have a Sun, laser etched. Um, I There are a few laser etched ukes out there, to be honest, and I usually look at them and kind of go, well, you know, gimmick. Um, that's really nice, though. That's subtle. Uh, it's not overdone, uh, and equally, I'm not a big fan of the laser etch ukes where they charge you a lot more money for them over what is essentially just a pretty basic ukulele. Um, this concert uke is a fairly basic ukulele, and, but it doesn't make any, uh, it doesn't try to hide that. It retails in the UK for a penny under uh, about £85, which is fantastic value, and it's all laminate mahogany, standard uke shape, um, mahogany laminate top, nice even grain, mahogany sides which are in two pieces, again nice even grain and nice even grain on the very slightly arched mahogany laminate back which um, it's finished absolutely uh, impeccably. You've got this kind of shimmer in, in the laminate on the top which and on the back and on the front which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, it oozes quality that's it, it's a laminate but it's a it's a quality laminate uh it's not overly thick uh it feels quite light um and i was really impressed with it from the moment uh, i opened it up uh top and back no binding you can see this join that's that is the laminate you're looking at the laminate wood in the side it actually looks nice because it looks like it's got some form of binding um which i think is great uh it's got a few finished flaws here in the joint, but nothing that I would be too concerned about. Um, standard rosewood tie bar bridge with some sort of white trim detailing. We have that uh, laser etched sun motif on the top, which as I say, I think looks really nice. I don't like blingy instruments. I wouldn't say this is blingy. I think it's, um, I think it's really pretty. Uh, inside, interestingly, the whole thing has been kind of spray painted black. Um, well, that's to make my job harder in understanding what it looks like inside, but it looks tidy. There's no glue seepage, um, notch curving around the back and sides, and fairly standard bracing by the look of it. Um, and it's it's good. We've got a hardwood uh, neck. I don't know whether it's mahogany. Actually, it's got quite a few pieces to it because this is one piece. We've got a join here. We've got a join here. So that's one, two, three pieces, and another join at the headstock, which you can see in the diagonal in the wood, uh, which is probably a bit excessive, not uh, unusual for this price point, and doesn't really change anything for the uke. Um, the fingerboard is rosewood, nice, very nice even colour, uh, with 14 nickel silver frets to the top of the body and 18 in total. They're quite thin, um, they're not jumbo frets uh, at all, and the neck itself is actually quite 
quite narrow at the nut, which uh, I like them a little bit fatter, but it's a fairly standard concert profile neck, to be perfectly honest. Uh, very comfortable neck, and again, well made, well joined. Um, no fret markers outward, which doesn't particularly bother me, but um, can look a little bit empty. Thankfully, though, we've got outward, uh, sorry, player facing fret markers at 5, 7, 10, and 12, which is extremely helpful. Um, the Face plate, if I just remove this tuner, has the Baton Rouge logo, again, laser embossed into what is a, 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 a mahogany face plate uh, on top of the hardwood neck, as you can see the edge of it here. Uh, silver finished open gear tuners, these are unbranded, um, but they work very well. Uh, nothing wrong with them, the buttons are nice and small, it doesn't make the uke look too ugly. Um, Nice, different sort of detail on the headstock. Um, I think you're probably telling that I really quite like this. Um, the whole thing's finished off with, I think these are standard Aquila strings, not the new Aquila. Yeah, they feel like standard Aquila. I could be wrong, but I think they are. Um, and it, 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 it just feels great. I mean, it, this really now goes, I think, into my list of uh, recommended Concert scale use for the beginner at £85 <coughs> if you're looking at things like the Lanakai LU21s, uh, entry level, Macalas, Carlas, etc. Um, I wouldn't overlook this at all. I think it's um, I think it's really nicely made, uh, feels good, nicely balanced, um, and it's a bit of a bargain at that price, really. Um, volume is pretty impressive, actually. It kind of um, Considering these are Aquilas, it doesn't really bark, which these I find these can. It's not got masses of sustain, but it's but it's but it's got quite of a sweet tone. Um, you'd have hours of fun with it. it it's, it's really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I, I can't find anything wrong with it. This is the <laughs> this is a good thing. Um, I like my reviews to be thorough. Um, the only thing that I found with it was a very slight this very slight bit of finish detail, which I can't even show you on the camera. So I'm clearly being picky. Um, it's thin laminate. It looks to me like it's quality laminate. That's the point. Um, there are laminates and there are laminates. Uh, a lot of people shy away from laminates and say, well, it's a laminate, it's not a real, not a real instrument. Have a look at instruments like the Kawea brand. Um, they make laminate ukuleles which knock a lot of solid wood ukuleles right out of the park. I'm not saying it's up there with the Kawea, but it's, um, it's better than a lot of the sort of £100 to £200 solid wood ukes that I've seen, a lot of them. Um, if you're out there looking at things like Fenders and Oscar Schmitz, mm. <laughs> this is a better deal. Um, it's a great uke, it's laminate so it'll be strong, it sounds good. I think, um, I think this is a steal, an absolute steal. Um, uh, and if it wasn't going back, I, I, I was short of a concert, which I'm not, I'd seriously be thinking about um, probably grabbing one of these to keep in the car or take with me somewhere where I'm not going to be too concerned about losing a lot of money if something went wrong. Um, but there you are. Uh, highly recommended. The Baton Rouge V2C Sun ukulele. Um, worth checking out. I've seen them in some... Uh, the usual UK dealers, uh, and I'm sure they're available elsewhere as well. Have a, have a look at them.